Good day and welcome to another Own the Web Wednesday, which is brought to you by SLA's uh, Leadership and Management Division, uh, now known as a community, sorry, and it's sponsored by Dysart and Jones Associates. I'm Rebecca Jones of DNJ, and I want to welcome and thank uh, Chrissy Gellick, who is going to guide us through TikTok today. Great. Thanks, Thanks so Rebecca. Much, Hi, Chrissy. everyone. I'm Ray Pun. Uh, as Rebecca mentioned, I'm uh, the other half, the co-chair of the Professional Development Committee for LMD. Really excited to have uh, this session here and all of you for joining. Uh, this is a particular topic on um, TikTok. So it's this video streaming app uh, on sh and sharing app. And if you were wondering what it is and how to get started to promote your libraries or to engage with your communities and users, this is the, the place to learn. I'm really happy to have uh, Chrissy Illick, uh, principal and founder of Librarian at Your Service LLC, who's also on the LMD board with us to give this demo. Uh, take it away, Chrissy. And Thank you, Ray, and thank you, Rebecca and Jane, for having me. And um, I'm, I'm glad uh, Rebecca actually uh, polled the uh, audience uh, regarding their either familiarity or their awareness of TikTok. And um, it's a mix of those that never have heard of it or have heard of it through the news or haven't used it and so forth. So. Hopefully, uh, this uh, session could change your mind to actually just exploring it um, a bit. And um, bef uh, before I proceed, um, I provide my sessions very um, informal. So if you do have any pressing questions, please post them through the chat and Rebecca, will interrupt me and I could address them at that moment in time. Anything in depth, I will um, answer briefly and then defer um, towards the end. Um, this is basically my who is me uh, slide. Um, rather than having um, just a bullet line of um, my basic credentials. Um, we are all information sciences, uh, scientists um, and librarians, so of course it's presented as a word cloud. And the terms that you see be um, um, before you are a mixture of both professional and personal um, adjectives that describe me. Um, though my husband and I, we live outside of Boston, um, I am originally from New York City, raised in New Jersey, so hence, yes, I am a Jersey girl, and I do have a science, scientific background. I actually opened up my own consulting business about five years, five years ago, um, and after being on the inside for uh, corporate libraries, and I'm into tech, science, and also, um, and that includes social media. Oh, and though I am outside of uh, Boston, being that I'm from the New York City area, uh, I am a baseball fan. Go Mets, even though, yes, sometimes I can be embarrassed to <laughs> acknowledge that, but if there's any fellow Mets fans in the audience. Okay. Um, so the who, what, and where of TikTok. For those uh, that may have only heard it in, in passing, as Ray had uh, mentioned in the intro, um, it is a video sharing app, um, specifically a short form mobile video because that it's not um, an elongated video like what would be found on Vimeo or YouTube. Um, they're designed to be short clips. And it, the historical background is that even though you may have only recently had heard of it um, this year, especially um, during the lockdown and the, uh, um, the quarantine um, situations from the pan pandemic, um, it's been um, available outside of China since May of 2017. 
Um, of course, it was first founded back in 2012. Um, so the, it has its, its history. Um, the company that owns it is ByteDance. And TikTok is not their only product. I have a list of the products there. If you want a little bit more about it, I put the URL that, um, on the slide deck, um, which this will be available on my website and also on the um, media that Rebecca had mentioned uh, in the beginning. Uh, a little trivia point is that the founder and owner of ByteDance, um, prior to forming ByteDance, um, had actually founded another company, another app called Kuksun, uh, which was a travel app very predominantly used um, or probably still used um, in China. And that particular app was acquired by TripAdvisor. Now I speak of the acquisitions because I'm sure unless you have been avoiding any sort of uh, news throughout the pandemic, you're probably aware of that TikTok has um, uh, triggered some um, issues uh, within the U.S. market and especially from uh, POTUS. And um, one of the recent um, developments is that there have been ex executive orders issued not only on TikTok but other Chinese apps um, in terms of their use in the U.S. Of course, this is still pending. Uh, and then there is also a time limit of the acquisition. And there's a number of parties that have expressed interest. Um, the predominant ones um, that you may have first have heard of is Microsoft. Um, Twitter has expressed interest, but uh, to a limited extent. And the newest party is Oracle. There's a couple of other parties that have expressed interest, not specific to the US market, but also for other markets like as in um, India. Now, being that the development for the, uh, this type of social media platform for um, short, the short video clips has taken storm, there um, has been development um, among other competitors, specifically under the Facebook umbrella. You probably all know, or maybe you don't know, that um, Instagram, which is owned by Facebook, or IG or Inst Insta, uh, if how you may want to refer it, has recently introduced um, a competition to TikTok called Reels. And I have that linked. And in fact, um, it was really publicly released this month. So that's something I do encourage you to also explore as well, because it's another forum to develop these short clips. So whether or not you want to um, develop uh, TikTok for your own brand awareness or uh, training, um, you do have an option with um, other platforms such as um, Reels, even though it's still relatively uh, new. Or if you don't develop it as any sort of branding awareness, you could still use it um, as a resource. So, um, and don't worry, the, um, we won't just be on the, uh, on the slide deck. I'm, I'm a big proponent of going live, so we will go live blessing to the demo gods. Um, but these are actually just snapshots of very, um, the most popular ha um, hashtags related to librarians. There's librarians of TikTok and libraries of TikTok. So if you go into TikTok and just do a search on those two hashtags, you will come up with um, a whole bunch of video clips related to both. Um, there is one particular um, uh, a TikTok user who is a, oh, sorry about that, a TikTok user. So to-do list, we should probably replace that with a, uh, with a, with a, with a computer. Problem. Trying to mis minimize my screen here. There we go. Apologies for that. Um, 
the uh, TikTok user uh, uh, Kelsey Bogan, who was quoted in a school library journal article by uh, Kelly uh, Jensen, that talks about um, how um, if you're a librarian, you should be on tic TikTok, at least for the purposes of not only just branding, but even just getting an idea of um, what uh, your target audience uh, uh, is doing. And I uh, specifically like, in fact, even this is um, a nice little screenshot, I'm positioning my cursor over the one that says the uh, proverbial question, what do librarians actually do? Because I'm sure that's something that we've also always addressed that. So I linked to that article there and that, uh, that article in, in itself provides a nice little snapshot of some key tips that you can do in order to get started. And they're very practical tips and, you know, you don't have to go all in, but um, that's, you know, w one way to um, dive right in. And whether or not you're a developer of TikTok or a user, or even just what I would call the lurker, that you just, you know, used it as a resource and just get ideas, um, it's worth, um, it's worthwhile for that exploration. Making sure you could still hear me because I think I heard the tone that my uh, headset went uh, off. Uh, but give a shout out if you can't hear me, <laughs> if you just look like that I'm miming. Uh, the So besides a platform for librarians, it's a platform for other topics and other messages. Now, the, uh, what I've listed here is just a few and with the snapshots. It's with health. And as you can imagine, one of the predominant messages that needs to be communicated, especially during um, the this year of the pandemic, uh, COVID-19, is to wear a mask. So again, you can search on wear a mask and you'll pull up a whole bunch of those video clips and you'll see much of those um, uh, TikTok um, users are people in the health profession, whether it's a physician, physician assistant, nurse, nurse practitioner, or even a pharmacist, they're on, they're on TikTok. Uh, it, it's also for family. There's a very popular hashtag, babies of TikTok, which, you know, they're, they're ad adorable, uh, adorable clicks. And it's also a form for even exercise. There's various challenges that even get you moving. One of the popular ones that happened early in the year uh, was the plank challenge. So if you just um, do a search on uh, plank challenge, you uh, you get a whole uh, video clip of people doing planks of all ages, and it either as a group or individually. And of course, with causes as well, because um, if you just do a TikTok search of Black Lives Matter, you'll see the video clips associated um, with that. And the list goes on and on. And like any other social media platform, it is a resource for CI. So that's something that even if you do a search for, um, you know, my backgrounds in the sciences, you could plug in a, um, you know, a life sciences company name such as like Pfizer and you will get relevant hits that um, could be useful in your uh, resource. All right, so now let's TikTok because it is a mobile platform. So a lot of the features that you will need to, uh, that you will be doing will be on your mobile, but there is, items that you can do through your desktop. So, so uh, Rebecca, as I just uh, switch screens here, I just wanted to make sure, were there any questions that have come through? No, I'm wrong. No, you, you, you look at it. no questions yet, Chrissy. We just, okay. we hear a um, man's voice and I didn't, <laughs> oh, the only one not muted is you, so I'm, I'm just, just wondering, can you hear that man's voice? Oh, 
Uh, yes, I can, and apologies since obviously I can't mute, but uh, that is my husband. Uh, okay. Even though we have a larger office, we do um, uh, oh, okay. share the office, and it can be, um, uh, and we're both on calls. So um, hopefully it's not too distracting. <laughs> okay. okay, thanks, Chrissy. <laughs> I was try I was trying to uh, play uh, 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 dumb there, but um, okay. So I just want to make sure. Give a shout out if you don't see what looks to be my phone. Okay. Excellent. All right. So of course, this is the the mobile app for. Um, for, uh, for TikTok, and it is available both on um, uh, iOS or Android. So whichever phone you have, it's you know you're able to access. And this is actually just the um, home screen, and depending on what you want. But the thing I just want to address here is that um, this is where through the mobile app where you would you would need to perhaps just adjust now as you can see as you can see I would classify myself more or less like uh, a lurker I haven't yet developed any videos yet um, I'm still gathering um, ideas though even with that said without content um, I'm gaining flower, uh, followers because just like with any other social media platform, it is a medium for community. So when you start leveraging the platform and if you do start it as um, uh, um, just, you know, to, to um, as, as a lurker, to get to get ideas, um, you know, you could authenticate using your own login, or you could connect it with other social media apps. And let's say, even if you do connect it using, let's say, your Facebook app, um, you could still go in there and just um, edit your um, uh, profile. Uh, oops, no. Uh, oh. I actually want to go into that. This is an individual account, but if you did want to switch this for your own library, your own business, you can switch it to a pro account. The, it really acts the same way as um, with uh, whether it's Twitter or Insta, where you do have the choice between individual or business, or you could toggle between the two. Uh, you can uh, do that, but a lot of that functionality needs to be done on the phone. Uh, you can't do that um, on the uh, the uh, the, uh, the web, and then you could specify your other sort of um, preferences there. Um, and if you click on edit profile here, this is where you can adjust your username, which would be automatically applied to your handle. So it's similar to your Twitter handle, Instagram, Instagram, uh, Instagram, Instagram, Instagram handle, and uh, so forth. Now, you do have the ability to change your um, handle um, every so often, but you can only do that once every 30 days. So, yeah, and of course, you could add a bio. bio. I myself, I still classify again as a lurker. I haven't updated the uh, bio yet. I'm still toggling between whether I want individual or pro, but that's what I'm saying. It's like you could just dive right in, get started, and, th and then just get the sense of um, the platform and how you actually um, want to use it. And then when it comes to this little, what looks to be like the, the bookmark icon, if you click on that, this is where any of the items that you've selected as favorites will appear. Now, this is something that will, again, only be accessible through the mobile app and not through the desktop platform. I'll toggle to the desktop so you could actually see. 
but here is a way to see and we're actually just going to go ahead i'll click on one and we probably won't be able to hear and but here's that video clip responding to what do librarians actually uh do and uh, going back to those um best practices on those tips uh, from the school library uh, journal that I mentioned um, early in the session. Uh, the, the th uh, one of those tips is to be cognizant of the hashtags that you use. So, you know, the, the, when it comes to with the librarians, librarians of TikTok is one of the uh, prevalent ones. So you want to make sure that is associated with your clip. Um, and then any other hashtag that's relative, uh, uh, rele relevant to the topic, whether it's librarian, uh, whether it's corporate, or, you know, w whatever it might be. Or if you want to emphasize training, or, but you want to make sure the, that most prevalent hashtag is included. Um, FYP, uh, that's another general tip for any TikTok um, uh, user uh, that is developing content that basically means for your page. And that emphasizes that if the more and more that you um, like the, the content, it's going to um, associate um, with similar type of content, um, hence the for, for, for your page. And that will come up with other associated um, hashtags like the babies of TikTok, Black Lives Matter, uh, wear a mask, um, and um, so forth. So of course, you know, it, this doesn't have the, uh, the, the video, but because um, I have uh, muted it, so to minimize any sort of feedback. But, you know, you could go ahead and pl uh, play around with that yourself. Now I'm actually just gonna toggle to So this is the web access, and I'm already logged in. Now, whereas you can start to um, create, um, upload your video through the web, um, you, you know, you could do that through the mobile, but that's really limited, including even um, changing either your handle or looking at your your fa uh, your fa your favorites. So, um, okay. th probably over time that might change, but for now, it's just a matter of knowing what you can do th um, through the desktop view versus the the mobile view and most of the time it will be on the mobile view so if you we're just going to go ahead and if you just want to continue just continue to browse um you know the um and that's just through the discover this comes up with the more prevalent hashtags at the moment of time. So, and again, anything could be created as a hashtag, but you want to be deliberate with the hashtags. That's another thing that you want to keep in mind to, um, you know, start to review the video clips out there and see what are the pre prevalent hashtags to be used. So then that way you're, when you, if and when you do start adding content, it will be discoverable and um, noticed. So in terms of C, uh, CI, let's see, well, I won't search Oracle because um, I'll do Microsoft. So let's see if we just actually search Microsoft. And just, just on the, a simple search of just Microsoft, these are the various video clips that come up and the more uh, pre uh, prevalent users to um, get an idea. And this is actually kind of funny. So um, it's, surpri it's surprising the amount of information that can be found on TikTok, which is 
like any other social media platform. So whether you use it as content creator or whether you use it as a resource, um, I definitely recommend for you to at least just um, start. Now, a word of warning is that when you start looking at the videos, many of the videos are associated with musical clips that you will find them stuck in your head. So um, you could probably thank me for those various earworms uh, uh, per se. So um, it's it uh, as their mission implies it does inspire creative creativity and joy because it's just a matter of um, enjoyable clips. Now there can be uh, certain video clips that can be a, li um, uh, a little depressing, but even but they're still informative because the, usually the ones that are depressing try to convey a certain message. Now I'm gonna actually go back. And we could go back to the actual platform here. Did I just, with a oh, sure. It's Rebecca. Sorry, Anne just asked, can you explain what the hashtag, uh, hashtag, sorry, XIP <laughs> is supposed to do again? I didn't, she didn't quite understand it and neither did I, so I'm glad. Uh, oh, no worries, no worries. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, forget it, go. Okay, I just want to get to that resource page. Um, oh, it, and it's F as in Frank, Y as in yellow, and P as in Peter, FYP. That stands for For Your Page. And what that does, and you'll find that if as you start to explore uh, uh, the the, uh, the TikTok, uh, TikTok videos, most of the videos will have that hashtag in addition to their part the um, other hashtags that are associated with a particular uh, video. And what that does is that it helps to prom um, uh, promote that particular video um, for distribution. Because um, especially when it's associated with the other hashtags, once you actually land on that, and if you like it, it and if you continue to like similar type a video, you when you first log on to TikTok, whether it's through the desktop or through your phone, you're going to find yourself um, finding similar videos. So you want to make sure you actually do put FYP on it for your page because it helps to promote uh, your content, whether your content, if you want to do it as an individual creator or if you want to do that uh, pro account. And hopefully that, does that um, minimize the uh, confusion with FYP? Yep. yep, is that okay, Ann? But if, oh yes, her point is, if everybody's using that particular hashtag, how does it promote your page? Oh, because it's a, because when you use it, you you use it uh, with your specific video. So your your video is not associated with F, with just FIP. It's linked to the other hashtags you're tagging your content with. Okay. Hmm. I think we have to experience it, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, exactly. But uh, from the um, info science point of view, I do uh, uh, link out at least two um, uh, art articles, both relatively recent, one more more than the uh, the other, about um, li librarians and TikTok. Now, it's really coming more or less from the academic point of view. However, Content is content, branding is branding, whether you're academic or corporate, you could still apply the similar principles that um, I definitely encourage you to at least um, review those articles um, and even give a follow 
to uh, Kelsey. Uh, that's the article from April. She was actually quoted in uh, Kelly's article. And uh, yes, um, uh, she has quite a bit of content um, on TikTok. And even the um, Kelly's um, article does um, suggest um, other TikTok handles. Uh, to follow that are, of course, in the library information science space. Now, for those um, techies among us, just the way that there's um, a, a developing platform with other social media, Facebook, Insta, Twitter, and so forth, uh, there's one for TikTok as well. Um, I do encourage you that if you do start getting um, um, a TikTok handle and content uh, created, go into their support center and that uh, to get more tips on really updating your profile, updating the clips. And I did not put, put, uh, put it on this resource page, but it's in the slide deck of the, the link to uh, the competing platform from Insta called Reels. And that's some, and who knows, that could be a subject for uh, another webinar comparing TikTok and, and Reels, especially to see um, what would happen to TikTok in the US. Hey, terrific. Are there any questions for Chrissy? Chrissy, there is a demand for your slides, so I know you'll put those up on the uh, <laughs> community page. And I was just reminding everybody that uh, in YouTube, if you just um, uh, search for slash tag SLALMD, all the uh, videos are there. I'm just having a look to make sure that I have put that on all of them. Uh, but they're also on the LMD um, community site. Yep, and I will be putting also the my slide deck um, on my website at um, librarianatyourservice.com. That includes all my uh, contact information as well as my social media platforms, whether that's Twitter, Insta, or, uh, or link LinkedIn. So feel free to follow me on there because once I do put it up on my website, I will promote it through those platforms. Not yet on TikTok because, again, I, I'm still classing myself as a lurker, uh, gathering um, inf information. Um, but between now and then, if there is a burning question, feel free to reach out to me and I could, uh, um, ha I'll could i be happy to just um, email you a copy of the slides before putting it up on my website. Great. Thanks, Thanks Chrissy. I, I just had a, a question or a thought. Do we know if SLA, any of the communities are actively having a, you know, use TikTok or have an account? Did you know? Oh, now that's an excellent question, Ray. I, I do not know, but that's something that could be poll, maybe sent out as a poll to see if there are, whether it's through the community or if there are others among us that are actively developing content. Um, now, I'm, obviously Kelsey, uh, Kel Kelsey is, but being that she's more or less an academic librarian, I'm not sure if she's an SLA member, but uh, uh, but that, uh, that might be something to explore. Academic division. <laughs> right, exactly, so you never yeah, know. Catherine's on here and I'm sure that she'll be contacting her, won't you, Catherine? <laughs> Good point, Ray. Very good point. Wow. Excellent point. Yeah. Yeah. Because, so, yeah. So thank you so much. I know that uh, that Ray's looking into um, a couple of more um, uh, sessions like this, and uh, SLA Canada will be having uh, Gary Price on September 10th. Gary joins us regularly to give us updates on uh, sources and sites and various media revelations that he has, and those are all on the Dysart Jones um, site as well. So we are delighted that you joined us today. We hope to see you again. Yeah. And have a great day. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Ray. So, yeah. Bye. Bye. Thanks again, Ray.